would everybody go back go around and say your name? <laughs> Kendra. Kendra. Laura Dominic. Ron Adams. And Carl Blair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the approval for a meeting, the meeting minutes for uh, 11, 12, 21. Me, uh, the minutes. I think she probably had to. No, she wasn't here last week. Was that supposed to? Um, Fred, I'll, yeah, we should have been on that. I'll make a statement. Can I make a statement at this point? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a motion to table approval of the minutes of the 11 12 21 meeting till the next meeting because, um, as discussed in previous meetings, um, the chair, acting chair, you know, in coordination with Jennifer, was supposed to email those out to us prior to the time that we would review them. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying blame. I'm just saying okay. that's the policy and procedure we have followed. That was not done. So I went out to the website and found them. So I have reviewed them, but um, unless others have also seen them. Okay, then I'm going to make a motion to table this item until the next meeting for. Uh, approval at that time. And I will second it. Thank you. All right, discussion. Okay, old business. Oh, we, we probably should take a vote, I think. Oh, take a vote. <laughs> That's all right. You're fine. You've been up a long time. <laughs> yeah, two o'clock. Really. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm too old to stay up in the morning <laughs> and be functional. <laughs> oh, I'm, I deeply apologize to everyone. No. Let's yeah. vote. Uh, all in favor? Table Aye. in the minutes. Aye. Aye. It's passed. Uh, uh, next item is uh, old business. The link link to video of eleven twelve personnel board meeting. Any uh, discussion um, comments? Uh, I'll comment that there was uh, apparently was a link, though I was not able to. It wasn't a linked link, and I just didn't get a chance to go and copy the link into YouTube. Um, Brian, I know you had mentioned that there were, might have been a piece we missed with the owl system that you wanted me to look at. Yeah, there there was a portion. I don't know how much of the meeting may have been missed. Okay. At one point, I looked out and then it stopped recording, okay. so I hit recording again. Okay. The, Do you need the, me to review that, or did have we able to piece it back together? It's been yeah. There the the video is is tied together. Okay. So you yeah you yeah. wouldn't. You wouldn't know that that you wouldn't what, okay. necessarily notice that. I just wanted to make you, okay. make you aware of it. Um, they're not official minutes of the right. of the meeting, but I just thought you you would want to. What, what does video mean? I mean, it's on. I, I mean, I don't see a camera anywhere. So these little guys. Yeah, you're. Oh, this is audio though. Video, video. and both. Yeah. Oh, we're on TV. Mm -hmm. Well, so we're, I don't think we're on stage seven. Right. We're not. On are we on stage seven? Okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so it's being recorded so someone can follow it afterwards. I got you. We are not on city seven right now, okay. like we were when we were speaking into the okay. microphones. So it's being recorded, but right. not live per se. Yeah. So after the meeting, I said I get a recording. I send that to our uh, audio video person. He posted to the city's uh, YouTube site. And then I put that link then on the minutes. When the, when the meeting and the minutes come out the, the yeah, week before the it. next meeting, a person can link to that. But at any time they can go watch that. Okay. Uh, the timeline, uh, or, uh, B, the uh, timeline of the personnel policy review. Okay, this is what we just we was discussing this at our last mm -hmm. board meeting here. Okay, mm -hmm. and I think we was going over the uh, objective timeline for each section that we're engaging in at that time. Okay, is everybody clear with that? The uh, time person, the timeline of personnel policy review. Yes, as I recall last time, um, I was expecting that we would have a triage of all of the sections of the personnel policies and procedures that we would need to look at. But we made the, the you know the decision and agreed that you're going to tell us kind of the like 
two topics that we're working on um, and presuming you're keeping them in that triaged order of highest importance. So just as you know, like, you know, once we get through, we've got EEOC policies and ethics policy here. Once we get into ethics, if you can tell us what's going to come next. So you're constantly giving us, you know, like two topics kind of thing. Um, that would be, I think that we, that's what we agreed to. Um, can I continue, Chair? Yes. Okay. Um, the I the draft uh, that was put on the web was up on the website under the agenda last Friday, as requested. Um, was of course not updated for the December sixth meeting because that was this week. Um, I have not checked this morning, but I do not believe that that document has subsequently been updated because they did pass that, so we can put a check mark on. Which is not a big deal. That's done. You can put that check mark there. Um, uh, what I printed off uh, for today's meeting, and again, unless that's changed in the last week, um, there's no dates here. Uh, like I, no dates on when the staff is going to talk. Um, so, mm -hmm. staff conference. So I, I have no idea what the schedule is. So to me, this is the same document we had last month, except Correct. of course put a check mark on December 6th. And so, we discussed uh, those timelines that we were mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when we, when it should be uh, available on the, right, like for the uh, council for the uh, uh, for the website for uh, right. Yes. And, and so we should have been. Yeah, and and I understand too. Should have been too, working like, on trying to include or add that to the uh, the website. Correct. The correct. So, and again, I understand that the request that we put it out a week early doesn't always allow for what happens between that Friday and this Friday for update. Um, but I would have expected that between the time of last Friday and today someone would have put in here the date that you guys are going to discuss the staff conference city attorney staff to discuss blah, 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 blah. so if I'm looking at this correct that date has not been assigned so nothing has changed here nothing has been nothing has been worked on between the last meeting and this meeting on either this policy or this policy well I think what we what, what has been worked on and because this is this is a big undertaking and so what I think what we have identified though is of this EEOC policy, here's what we have identified that we will work on. You're right, we don't have a date set right. of when our meeting's going to be. And a lot of it's dealing with the holidays and sure. just trying to get that together. But, but that's the one thing that has changed is at least we, we have identified. And part of that gets into, I think, the new business section, which you'll have copies of what the current city policy is. And so we wanted you to have a good look to see, OK, here's what we have and here's here's where it's kind of deficient. Here's, you know, this is what we're going to be bringing you to revise in essence. Okay. So, so so that's what we have done is actually out of out of all of those things we've identified. OK, we just need to jump in. And we're going to start here. And so OK, so, so that's I want to 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 copy comment here. Um, we knew so this has not changed at all I mean there would have been a check mark but that's fine we checked that off this has not changed so we have we have nothing to discuss on the timeline because we don't know the dates right is that correct right okay there probably so will not we, be a change between what comes out from your packet and what you what we discussed today okay yeah so then if and this has only been worked on in the last week because I know you said last Friday you guys hadn't started on any of the new, you know, these changes that we were going to discuss. Now, the, also the thing that we've discussed here is that we are not here, and correct me if anybody correct me if I'm wrong, we are not here as a personnel board to sit here and go through, is this one right, this no. one wrong? It is the staff an attorney's job to bring to us a red line copy that says, okay, 
appropriation needs to be <laughs> redefined, crossed through, show yes. us what the new one is. Right. So as of literally in the parking lot this morning, I looked these items up that I printed up earlier this week. There's no red line copy here. No. So in my mind, and I'm going gonna, gonna to say this bluntly, nothing has been done on any of this. So I am not interested in sitting here to write policy or to discuss, okay, well, the definition of board needs to change, and the reason is I expect you to bring it to, and I hope this is the expectation of the board, and I want the chair to, acting chair to answer. It's your job to bring to us what we need to be considering for changes. I don't want to sit here and go line by line through all of these definitions. And that was not the intent. The okay. intent was really to show you that what we have ahead of us. That okay. was really the only okay. purpose. We wanted, to see, wanted you to see what we have on the books today. And we were not going to have you rewrite anything. We're not asking okay. you to do any of that. We will bring you corrections or this is how we want to see it written. Mm -hmm. And then you okay. can go through it. But So I appreciate that. Um, we all have access to the policies and procedures. So, um, so we don't have to give you copies no, of the no, policies. You need to tell me on here where I need to go to find it because we all, you know, we, if we don't, we should have that sent around. I appreciate, I mean, I appreciate right. you posting this because right. it's I'm something, just, something to look at, but it's, it's, it's nothing more than I already know. I'm, yeah, I realize that, but we also know that the direction has been whatever we discuss needs to be posted. Yes. We're going to discuss those two items just to review and Jenna, that's why those were on there. Right, but, but, but. Um, I will also I'll make it I'll use it as an example. There was a finance and audit committee meeting that was scheduled for 2:30 this afternoon. The chair called me yesterday and hadn't received the uh, the documents for review for her meeting until yesterday, 24 hours in advance. I mean technically correct, but she canceled the meeting because she doesn't have time to review it. I if I get a, if I, if you give me part, you know Article One Section this and that you know to read that tells me nothing new. This is 2013 information. So if if you're not going to bring to us, um, you know, by the time, I mean, like by today, I get if you needed time to finish more, you know, whatever it is, unless you're, you have it to present, there's no red line here. There's nothing just, for me to So prepare. let's just clarify that uh -huh. what you're saying is if we're going to say we're going to talk about these two, this section, mm -hmm. there's no changes. You don't want that posted on the meeting then. You don't want that document posted. Well, if there's no changes to it, I would hope you would say, you know, we've reviewed section okay. 1.8 and, okay, that, and you have no recommended changes. Than, than from what the direction was last time. So we'll just make sure. Well, I, well, I don't understand, I don't understand why the concern is, Certainly the what the question is, because that's it's want. always that we want to know ahead of time what we're going to be talking about in a meeting. And that's what we did and we posted that. Okay. We're, we're going okay, to so talk you, about. We're, we're going to talk about this, but so you're planning to go down and like give me the ten we're, things. We're, yes, staff. Well, we will talk about this, but yes, um, we don't have a change for you at this point. So, again, I think as a board, maybe not everyone's like you and goes out and you know read through, read through all the documents like you do. I mean. I don't know if anybody board. was able to, like, and, and I understand what you're saying. I don't know, was anybody even able to see the documents that line, went out online and saw the documents? No, I haven't okay. had internet access. Okay. They were okay. posted Friday. They were posted Friday. They were posted you, Friday, but, but, okay. but there was no reminder to do that. There was no, there were actually two agendas out there as well, just technical. One is the PDF agenda and it says open the meeting, roll call, old business, new business. You know, closed. How would you is, find that? I, yeah. I, I don't well, okay, so he doesn't know how to. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I know. I, mean, I got an iPad at home. You know. Yeah. And, and I, so I if you go over to the the city of Independence website. Yes. I don't know where to go. Events or news or which of the of the apps or the to go. The going to. Okay. Good point. And yeah. and, and it, you guys should be, it should be emailed to us. So you want it? You want everything emailed to you? Yes. And you want it posted. The Friday before. Yes. Who we emails it? it? Do I email it or does Teresa email it? Well, too? if I remember, so first of all, let me back up to one thing too. The minutes to me should not be presented on the website until they are approved. So minutes should only be emailed to me. We don't put council, look, correct me if I'm wrong, we don't put council meeting minutes out until they have been approved. Is that correct? Or finance and audit, they don't go out there. Until they're draft 
I mean, that's where I see most of these do. They'll mark them draft, and then once they're approved, okay, is that is that how the city handles it? But I don't it? know how the city does that. I don't believe we have any specific policy for okay. each. Okay. Okay. For for each committee. committee. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So, does the council, being the highest level of people who have minutes and stuff, are their minutes posted anywhere before they're approved? Let's just go by their example. If they are, then like like when I get a when I open up. The, the city council packet from Monday night's meeting. There's it says approved minutes of da 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 da. da. There's no link to those minutes where I can go out and read those and say, oh yeah, I would agree with that or not. So my understanding is they're. But if they're, I'm wrong, tell me. They are not posted to the website until they are approved by the committee, because I think that approval unless unless they do draft. I mean, I'm good with draft. That's um, how most of my cities do it. And right. That's how they'll right. post it in there and the and then. Yeah, but so. Um, so in fact, I think Monday night, well, Monday night's a study session, so they wouldn't be, re they reviewed minutes last week because it was the first Monday. Um, and we've discussed this numerous times. So from what I understand between Jennifer and the chair or acting chair was that you were working with Teresa to draft the agenda, you know, whatever, and you were typing up the minutes, you were getting those to her, and then she was to email them out to us. That was my understanding. That's what happened before the last meeting. Right. So in this case, and again, I, I know you're, you're yeah, acting chair for the first time, not in the. I haven't received or gotten any email, but she's been seen. Wherever. Yeah. So I mean, so I'd like to um, say that if we can agree that the process is by the Friday before, you have updated this. For what it can be, obviously you couldn't check off December six because that was before. And if there's any changes to this during the week that you discuss between, then I would expect you to update those things so that when again, if if we need to wait till the last minute to print it out because you do need that extra week, or you, I have to be able to prepare for a meeting, and I'm not I'm not. I understand you've identified that there's things that need to be done on here, but. We expect you to bring us what you're going to do. And when, what, what, by, I, what I mean by that is, is a red line copy. Because we can't sit here, and I know you said, we're not going to sit here and wordsmith the definition of all of this. So if you're telling me there's, you know, however many pages of this that you're going to go through and make changes, great, bring them to us. But there's nothing to discuss about it today. Because there's nothing, I couldn't, Nothing here, and and not, and these guys don't have it because they couldn't find it. I have copies, so and I, I I need to understand too who who. May I see a copy? Oh yes, of the yes. art the right. policies. Yes. This is Article One, and this is Article Two. So I would like to copy also. <clears throat> Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm just gonna say something, okay? Um I I, I feel I have been in a, in an investigation all week, okay? And so you're gonna have to be um a little bit forgiving because you are looking at the person who is doing this with Jennifer, right? And and there are so many competing priorities, and I'm feeling a little bit oh, attacked. Wow. And overwhelmed because and I need one person if there's if there's things that you guys aren't getting, I need one person to communicate to me. And I think that that needs to be either Teresa or the acting chair, because I get overwhelmed when I get a lot of different communications about something. And I'm not sure that this is all new to me. Right. This is only, I think, my third meeting. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um I, I understand that you have something in your head exactly how mm -hmm. you want it, but I need to, I need a little yeah. forgiveness that it's not always going to be that way because there are so many other overwhelming competing pro okay. so processes and things that we that we're doing on a day to day basis, yeah. and so okay, um, and I think as we go, it, we'll get better at this, right? And I had asked originally that the, that this timeline be a roadmap. I mean, I, there are going to be times when we are not going to be able to meet a deadline that we think maybe, I mean, we haven't even talked about the policies that we want to talk about because of so many other competing priorities. So 
again, I'm, I'm just asking for a little forgiveness and a little flexibility. Okay, so th I understand that and I understand your feeling. Um, and I think you understand my feeling. I have since the first meeting that we had, when I got calls from employees and retirees who were concerned as to why we were meeting, what was going on, and I told them, I said, I will make sure that a week in advance, you will know what we are going to discuss. So we've discussed that since, I don't know when that first meeting was, even however many months ago it was. We discussed that the chair would work with you because you're the one who has the minutes, right? You're the one who can get into Nova's agenda to write the agenda. So you'll have to work with the chair or acting chair to get the chair, I'll say he or, you know, he or she, to send that out to us. The chair has to be responsible to know that, that's not, that is not right. you know, like you need to know that you should be expecting that by last Friday, somebody should have, you should have communicated and gotten him the information. He emails it out to us. The minutes, because the minutes aren't approved. I don't. I don't want to see the minutes out on. I don't want to see the minutes out there for the city to read until we have approved them. I think that is pretty standard. Like unless you're unless we're putting draft out there, which I did not see draft across the minutes. I actually printed out one page of them because I have changed. It's it. on the agenda cover sheet. It is. It says a draft. Yeah. Yeah. And but the actual sheet that if somebody went and printed out the no, minutes, it, does it doesn't. Not. They so. The draft on it, right? Just so we know that, okay. I understand this is going to fluctuate. I understand that you have a lot of things on your plate between open enrollment and some investigation and some other things that are going on. If you get to the point where you think we haven't had a chance to work on this at all and this is for tomorrow's discussion, then I would communicate with the chair and say we need to cancel the meeting because we don't have anything to discuss. I don't want to come in here for the first time that you guys have worked together to discuss this. To hear this, that's supposed to be what you guys are supposed to work on together, right? That's what I expect. I, I don't want to sit here for two hours and have the very first discussion about these items because they haven't been discussed between council and staff. That's a meeting you should have. Now, if you can't have that meeting before this meeting, then you say, hey, by the way, uh, we're not going to have anything marked up for you for you to review. Okay, then cancel the meeting. Or let the chair make the decision to cancel the meeting. But I feel like we're just going to sit here, and I, I don't understand this constant confusion about what needs to be done. I understand the confusion on who needs to talk to whom, and and you and you and Teresa and I agree to that that I should go to Teresa, but or now Carl because I didn't realize last week that Teresa was still sick when we were having those conversations and would not be chairing this meeting until we knew this week or whatever. So. We have to be informed as to what's happening before it happens. And we are relying on, although I know where to go out and I worked that city website finding things for years now, and I know where to go to find it, but others don't or don't have access to the computer at home and things like that. So we have, it has to, we have, it has to come to us somehow. You don't let the city council just go out and find their agenda somewhere. You know what I mean? It's, Pat no, I don't true. know what you mean because I don't know how well, that works. And okay. I've never even done Nova's before until right. this last time. So again, well, uh, maybe it's Brian a learning will. process. Okay. It I is have a learning no process. idea how the, the city council, the city clerk does all that. I don't I yeah. have no <laughs> idea how that works. So would it help if we just outline like literally like what we want? I mean like step one, step two, when it should happen and all that. Is that would that be helpful? That's up to the chair. Well, I, yes, I, 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 did, I would just add this. I think you need to communicate with the city clerk. I mean, I realize that you are somewhat new to municipal and uh, municipal government, but a short hour uh, discussion with the city clerk to know how to handle the agendas uh, Which would be appropriate. And, and secondly, this thing about chairman, I mean, Teresa, whatever's going on now, we were all appointed equally. You know, Carl, Laura, all of us, you know, and I've been on here for, for like 14 years. So we're all equal members and we have a chairperson to sort of preside at the meetings so that we can have some semblance of order. So I don't think you should get hung up by sending a chairperson because like maybe the current chairperson has some 
health issues right now. Probably last thing on her mind is paperwork. Uh, so you ought to communicate directly with all five board members mm -hmm. and, uh, That's and, 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 and you know and, and get that you know the middleman out of it because she is a member just like Laura is or I am um, uh, and then the last thing I'd like to say is if I mean I've worked in three municipalities and three hospitals and done hospital policies and personnel policies and so forth um, I don't know why we can't get this entire package in one document and rather than piecemeal basis spread over a year and a half why we can't have the whole thing and like she says redline any changes that the city wants to make i mean it's not new and creative the state legislature passed the, the framework as i understand it so i don't know why we make this so complicated it's really not that complicated and on top of it, then you get the employees all upset. Like, what are they doing? You know, and we don't. We're not even sure what we're doing. So we can't explain it to employees and retirees. So that's all I got to in my comments. I think that we uh, made some valid points. From what I it was, a, my understanding and what I've been experiencing while I was here. And when we started this process, it, it, we, it was so many discussions on how it's going to be presented or how we're going to go through the whole entire personnel. I mean, not the personnel, but the uh, policies, the policies. policies. Mm -hmm. and it was discussed long or what during the summer, I think <clears throat> that would, would be better if we and we made this decision, I believe, if we did it in piecemeal because the entire whole thing which you just brought up that's a great point that you, you brought up because the entire thing is going to be so time consuming it's going to be done we'll complete it within uh next year sometime which is about less than a month away <laughs> so that's where the triage and that's where the uh separation of each individual not each but uh it was section Okay. to be presented to the board okay but his he made a valid point some things in the in the uh in the policies guess what y'all ain't got to touch right is that 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 is correct isn't it or you got to you don't have to change every policy what you have to do is uh, uh up I, I hate for lack of a better word but upgrade to the current policies from the state and the federal in in our personnel policies okay that basically in, in in layman's terms what is should be transpiring here in with you too okay but certain policies in this in our personnel in hr the ankle is not going to change okay and the major functional major issues was are we uh current with the state and the federal it, and and things that are you know things that have changed in the city you know like if there's a precedent yeah if there's set a policy that, means, that, the, yeah. that the council city has right. uh implemented that is not in our hr uh policy those are the issues or those are the points that we're here or in my that we're here to discuss and we're here to implement into the uh personnel policy here for the uh city okay but certain areas of it it really ain't gonna change but right. we did I mean, this is true okay. when we did okay. went, went through the triage we need you know it was i sit and listen 90 percent of the time but we went through this hey we need this we need to uh know what you're working on we need to go through each individual section i distinctly remembering a, a big discussion on we need but the reality is just like uh he uh adam said we certain things and then we ain't gonna, you ain't gonna touch right and i and i definitely wouldn't expect you to bring anything to us that you're not going right. to touch you know i mean we're not here to say oh you go know, through line works. by line by line by line or right. personnel policies uh hr policies uh that ain't gonna be touched they ain't gonna be changed and and, and so i'm hoping or i'm assuming that when we did the triage it was just uh, uh the, what's more 
the most important things that has to be changed mm -hmm. right now. And then you go to, uh, it's red, then we go to yellow, okay? And the green part, that should be, in my understanding, it shouldn't be anything that we would have to uh, implement or incorporate into the HR policy here for the uh, city. But like I said, there was a lot of discussion about how we want to do the whole policy, HR policy, mm -hmm. okay? So maybe, just maybe, uh, in the initial uh, uh, task of uh, mapping this uh, procedure or this out, we were kind of, uh, as a board, kind of aggressive in, in a sense, uh, mm -hmm. not knowledgeable what uh, it's going to complete uh, take to get this done, okay? I, so it's a possibility. I mean, I, I, mean, I feel like I, I, I feel like I know what we need to get to what it takes to get done. I don't necessarily know what needs to change because I'm not the attorney. I'm kept up on all the laws and all that type of thing. And that's what's here in this document. And I agree, like we talked about, you don't. And there's probably a waste of time spent triaging everything down to green and then going, OK, now we're working on red. Well, if we've got red. Let's work on red. And you've identified red which is EEOC policy and an ethics policy, which we don't have at all, right? So I'm, I'm good with the triage and taking it in chunks. I really think if we wait for an entire document and try to get through it, we will overwhelm ourselves, we will overwhelm the city council, and we will not, we won't be effective. So I, I agree, I love the triage. I appreciate that, it's down here, we got two things we need to work on. I appreciate that tremendously. There's no dates on it, so I don't know when you're going to get to staff conference, which would, which you know, would be before you come to us to discuss these are the things. Then we have this. Okay, we agree. Or what about this? What about that? Kind of like we did with the other one, and then we can have the public hearing and say, okay, we're ready. Go, go. I think that's very straightforward. Has how that happens. We are continuing to come back to. We cannot get the foundation of this committee or board with how we are going to get notified about a meeting, when we're going to get notified, and what we're going to get. And I feel like I have covered this every time I've come to a meeting. So I would like us to settle that so that you don't feel like somebody's contacting you and another person's contacting you and they're asking me and I'm getting questions and, try, you know, let's just figure it out and do that every time. And then let's get on to the policies and procedures. Excuse me. But if the first discussion that you guys haven't had to have on this hasn't happened about this, then this is that's way before it comes to us. I, I, I would the would the group agree? To our statement. I'm okay. Sorry. So, so I think we should set, settle once and for all how we want to administratively handle things for meetings. Because then that way everybody has the same clear understanding. We need to write it down once it's live. We know who's supposed to talk to whom, where it's supposed to go, where it's supposed to be posted. I think we should decide that and be done with that. Then I would say if if staff has not had time to review this, and when I say staff, I mean you know whoever the attorney and everybody hasn't. Had, you haven't even had a discussion together about what needs to be changed here. Then it's not time for this to come to us. So then we should table this item until you've had that discussion and you can say, OK, next meeting, um, you know, we're going to we're going to read. We want to redline this. We want to look at that. We want to look at this. Go through the items. Do you have any discussions? I don't want it to start the first discussion about this article in this meeting. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. I think if they need more time. Right. Then they we table or what mm -hmm. it is, is that we're because we're meeting monthly, she's being overwhelmed because she has to do, you know, right, right. all of this besides her own job too. And maybe, maybe we're well, meeting, this is her, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. we're meeting too, not giving her enough of a time period to get everything done that she needs to get done. And, and well, I'm it's three start, weeks. I mean, because yeah, of the but, Friday but, before, but, but really you can is. also get to us, you know, like on Friday, you're like, okay, you knew you, told me you hadn't even had a discussion on this. So I assume between last Friday and yesterday sometime, you guys would have met. 
and but like ten percent, we just gave that to you to let you know that's what we're working on next. Right. We, okay. We weren't well, expecting okay. us to have. So our bad. I mean, I no. So so next time that's what we weren't expecting to have the the yeah. initial discussion. It was you're simply fine. presenting to you to say these are the these are the two policies that we are working on. Okay. Going so to work on, and when they're redlined, we will bring the red lines back to okay. you. That's okay. all that is. It's okay. not. Okay, and and that's and that's where I'm fine with that. Um, but if you're saying you don't even want that, then I, I, okay. Here's the deal: I don't want anybody to feel attacked, and I know you feel attacked, and I feel frustrated. And I'm not trying to attack you or anyone. I am trying to make efficient the time that we all spend here, because that's a lot of money spent here, and we're you know all of our personal time spent here, which is what we all chose to do, but. If, if that's what you're going to, you know, if that's the thing is at the next meeting, we are going to present to you sections two, three and four. We don't need to have a meeting to get the blank documents to, to say that you're going to do that. Right. You know, we would be coming in unless there's other items. We do have one on the agenda would be to approve the minutes. But and if you say and if you say to if you talk with the chair and you're like by by the Friday of the meeting. We are not going to be able to give you anything redlined. Then we should cancel the meeting because then that does give you more time or reschedule the meeting or whatever it is. It gives you more time. I mean, I am concerned in general with this time frame is. I mean, we're at a year from Christmas. Is that right? A year from Christmas or more out the, the timeline already was. And every time we don't have a meeting where we review something, we're running our time right now. And to me, I think it should be priority. I think these are red, red items that should be handled and should be worked on and should be hustle, hustle to get done. I think it should be constant work, you know, not just three weeks and then you stop, of course, but this is not moving us forward at all. And if it's not going to move us forward in the meeting, then please tell us we should just cancel the meeting if, if, or I know you have to ask. If anybody looks at it, they're going to say, well, it's taking you a year and a half to do this. It's like, it really can't be that important. <laughs> so, I mean, if it was really important, maybe we would get it done in a month or two. Or three well, or I think the red triage items we should get done in a couple months, but there's time frames that, you know, we have to work with the two weeks to do this and a week for that and meeting and all that. But it's been a month since the last meeting. And I know you were going through open enrollment and, and all of those things, but that's closed and done. And, um, and the attorney is, I assume, the one who's making, doing most of the work on it. I really? assume. And that's just something I need direction from the city. I need that help because I don't want to go in and just decide, right. oh, right, this city's policy looks great. Let's work it. You know, this will be good for independence. I don't know that. Right. But let me assure you, this is important. This really is. We are. We want to make sure this is done right. Mm -hmm. I, I want to make sure that it's it's exactly it's fair to employees. It's fair to the city. We want to make sure. And, and I understand your frustration, but I, you know, again, th this is important. We're not. I I don't want you to feel like it's it's not. It it just is a lot with the time frame that we're work, trying to work on, and we're trying to you know keep. Because what I've heard in the past and, and the meetings I've been in is you you like to meet and I, I really just from you, Laura, is what mm -hmm. I'm hearing is mm -hmm. that you want to kind of try and meet monthly just to keep things going. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, we are trying to try and meet that. On the other hand, though, too, I know you said you don't want to discuss anything if it hasn't been done by the Friday before. No, I didn't. Never said that. You did. No. No, no, I said that I want it posted to the website as to what was going to be discussed a week before. I don't think so. I think what I heard you say is that you wanted, if it wasn't done by that time, then it should not be discussed at the meeting. That's what oh, I, I said. If it's and not, I've seen some head. if it's not presented so, by the Friday before, then it should not appear on the agenda for discussion. Just like the city council, city council gets their stuff out on a Thursday. Unless there's some extreme emergency, and I'm not talking about just an emergency order for some, like a plat or something like that, then if it comes up and somebody says, hey, I'm running by night, I want to talk about such and such, and they're like, no, nope, it's not on the agenda, we're not discussing it. So there's time ahead. The thing about this is, yes, the city council is, is a, I, I'm, I'm personally, I think they should get it done even before, but Thursday at noon is when they get their stuff out for Monday. We have 
people, a lot of people, employees and retirees who are looking to see what is going on. Do I need to be at that meeting? Do I have questions about this document that I need to be there? And if they're presented the same thing that they get all the time, because they, they definitely have access to the policies and procedures, they're like, well, I guess they're not discussing anything. I don't need to be there. I don't, I, I'm really, I really don't understand why it's, it's not easy to understand what okay, I'm saying. You're, you're talking about the policy. I, I see others looking at the policy because they, they don't have access. I hear people saying they don't have access to the internet. Again, we presented these to you because this is what we're going to work on next. We wanted to be transparent to yeah. everyone to say, okay. these are the two policies. If you don't want them on the agenda and you don't want to see them, if we say next, the policy, the compensation policy is what we're going to work on or whatever, mm -hmm. and you don't want to see it because it hasn't, we haven't actually redlined it yet, fine. But maybe others do want to see that policy the well, way it is today. Send out the, all, I mean, I have a link to the policies and procedures that I but asked someone for. just said they don't have access to internet, Laura. So I don't know how to rectify that. I don't I, know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I like it's an adjustment. No, maybe I the library. That. You can go to the library to use it, right. things like that. Right. Or you can you can print I, this out. Part you can time travel. job being a gun and working night. So and and to right. Gertie, eighty-eight year old. I don't care when she gets me this stuff. As long as I can sit down and read it. Right. But you do. Because didn't... right now I'm feeling frustrated at your frustrations when this should be a simple meeting and we read what's here and, and go from there. Because I am tired of hearing about timelines and triage and mm -hmm. all this other. I just want to concentrate on the job that's at hand and that's going through these procedures mm -hmm. and policies. Mm -hmm. And you want to prepare for the meeting before you come, right? Sometimes, yes, I do. Sometimes I can, you know, I'm pretty quick witted, you know, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm intelligent enough that I can adapt. Right, right. But so, I think, so, okay, so I will, um, that, that is fine. I, um, what I will do then to, so I guess we are on, Timeline, and we've discussed that. So, are we done talking about the timeline then, Chair? Well, just as a follow up, I mean, I, you, you know, all, all this information could be in an email with an attachment. You know, I or you can print out the whole policies I mean, and procedures and give her a copy of it. You know, I've got iPad, a couple of iPads. So if you could have that, and you could have that available for us to at least read. Now, if somebody doesn't have the internet or a computer, then maybe you need to do the snail mail. You need to put it in the mailbox. Uh, if you have, say, one person that doesn't, but most people do have internet you know, access, so. Well, I could bring a copy to this meeting and give it to her. Yes, every everybody on this committee should have a copy of this. Like from the day you got on the committee, that's the day I asked for a copy was the day I got on the committee. I mean, for God's sakes, that's what we're doing is policies and procedures. If you don't have a copy of what we're doing, it's like not having a copy of the ordinances and you're the city attorney or the prosecuting city prosecuting attorney. But. Up to you, Carl. Back to you, Carl, in the studio. Herding cats, Carl, it's herding cats. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so, what I'm here, we have standstill in some sort of, uh, of clarification on what the uh, first clarification of uh, one of her one of the issues that has a raising was uh, is it accessible to the public and the board, the personnel board? Okay. But the conflict from what I hear is the timeline or the timestamp when it needs to be able to be presented. That's where I hear a conflict is that. Okay. Really? Uh, yes, it should be available. OK, 100 percent to uh, employees and retirees, but uh, not but the time frame or the 
it has to be or should be or have got to be. Yeah, that's a kind of a gray area or we don't have anything to uh, assist you in uh, discussing or to discuss together. OK, mm -hmm. if it's not dated, if it's not. Uh, 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 in a certain amount of time, that's where a lot of the conflict or misunderstanding is coming from. OK, uh, but in a perfect world, we would get it that way. OK, right. this ain't it's it's a long way from a perfect world and. Uh, the responsibility from the. Uh, HR department and the uh, with the assistance of the attorney. Uh, I don't. I personally don't know whether it was overlooked or. Uh, the time limit that they have. Is it achievable? I don't care. OK, I have no idea which one or whether that's the issue, but I'm learning. I feel it's 100% right to have access. OK, now me, John, or if their access is available and we don't get it or don't don't have uh, internet to uh, get it. I'm an adult. I, I but yeah, I'm gonna do what I need to do uh, to get the information. I, I don't need I, me personally. I don't need nobody spoon feeding me all the time for this information. I'm an adult. I'm on this board. I can get on. I don't know how me. I'm gonna get it. Okay. Okay. I ain't a kid, I, and I'm not just you know. I don't. Yeah. Okay. That's my understanding. But I think the company uh, here again, I think the, the issue is. We're putting uh, more burden on your back by, saying, by de not demanding, but requiring, hey, this needs to be here or. Uh, the consequences or we don't have anything or we shouldn't or we can't discuss it or we can't uh, uh, go over. It, OK. Uh, now these meetings are public. OK, I understand that and these meetings should be uh, available for. The citizens. The uh, council. Retirees who or everyone. So I think what we should do. Take suggestions on what we should how this should play out or how this can be resolved. Okay. OK, I'm willing to make a compromise. May I? Yeah. And see, I, like I said, this world ain't perfect. OK, let's bring it down to this room. If you had HR. I know, and all of us have, have had experience with HR. It's not a light on. I mean, it's not an easy task. And then to be. Added with the responsibility, which is HR's responsibility to bring forth in compliance with the state, city, state, and federal to bring that into compliance to, okay? Because this don't happen every year. <laughs> this, I, hey, when was the last time this thing been, this, uh, the policy has been even reviewed or even looked at? I, I, hey. 2013. <laughs> 2013. Eight years ago. Yeah, so it doesn't happen often. So, and, and, my, I guess my point is, I understand that this is is overwhelming and is not a normal task of HR. Okay, I, I I really understand that. So, one of the suggestions is to try to uh, take the burden off on the time limit. Okay, what I mean by that is, to me, it ain't a very huge earth changing deal. If it's not dated or if it's not uh, presented to what you were, uh, we're going to uh, discuss here, it ain't earth shattered, okay? Because one thing, there's no time frame for us. There, yeah, but we want to prepare for a meeting. Yes, we want to. We don't want to just come in here and start talking about a topic. Okay, we, we want to complete this task, but there is there is not a 
a time frame and say, hey, listen, the, the city council didn't come to the board and say, hey, we need this personnel policy uh, book done by this particular day. If they did, we all, you know, I get more gray hairs, you know, I get a couple more wrinkles and, uh, you know, I'll be up late at night sometimes making sure I'm going through all this stuff. So if they not do, and I went to, I was at the, at the uh, he was there too. I watched. Okay. It was never even brought up. Okay. And it's not brought up because the, because the council, though they appoint us, the council cannot go below the city manager, which is where all this is handled by the definition of the charter, to say that we need to, that Zach needs to direct his staff in connection with us to do that. The city the council meeting, it wasn't, the topic wasn't even brought up. Don't know why. Right. Whether, no, because whether, they don't, that's not a topic for them. I don't know why uh wasn't on their agenda. It's not an issue or a task I'm trying to, uh, Engage in. I was there to, to uh, uh -huh. do a specific uh, uh, responsibility. I was there. They didn't present. No problem for me. It was on resolution, and they didn't okay. have any questions, and it was passed. So yeah, it was on the consent agenda. Was it looked at at all? I mean, was yes, it, it was on the consent, consent agenda. Or? Yes, it was on the consent agenda, and it was passed without discussion. So that particular issue, check mark, done. That's not. I mean, that's that's done. We're done with that. Seriously, like we have accomplished that, which is great. That, that's done. I, 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 and I'm going to just say something else. Okay, I, I have been in HR for 35 years, and I have written and revised many, many handbooks, policies, manuals, HR, recruiting manuals, all kinds of stuff. This is what is making this difficult. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing to revise this personnel manual. If I if I did it like you, if we sat down and just took this manual from page one and went to page seventy It'd or whatever, it would be done. And I could I'd present it to you. I mean, it it'll take a little while to get through it, but I. Yeah, but, but see, I understand what she's saying. I understand you. Right. I understand and, and that, and so I'm trying to navigate through this, and I, I, I don't. And I'm, and I'm trying, and I'm trying to explain to you what we want. Okay, you're doing the timeline great. You got us two topics that we're ready to discuss, right? I figured we talked about that at the last meeting. That's what this was. We're like, awesome. Two two red topics, right? I expected today we would have something to discuss of one of those two red topics. We have a blank a copy of the blank, and not the blank, but the personal policies and procedures from 2013. So we don't have anything to discuss on changes because you don't present us anything that we're going to change. Your concern is that's too early. So I would make a concession to say instead of the week before, which I've tried to tried to offer and tell the employees and the retirees that I would get that done for them. Let how about we make it the Tuesday by five o'clock before the meeting on Friday. So there are a couple of days for us to read it, to you know, ask questions if we need to, look up things. I research things when I see changes or look it up or need to call you about something I'd like to have a little further discussion on. The retirees and the, you, you know, that gives you a few more days. So if we can get that out by Tuesday at five o'clock, and then we expect that between then probably you've worked on it, so you might have some more discussion by Friday. But I cannot come in and will not come into a meeting blind to look at a blind, a basic copy of something that I've had since I was on the committee for the last six years or whatever, five years or whatever. But I mean, so I would say I would ask the board if they're agreeing that we can settle this, that if they can get it out by Tuesday at five o'clock and is posted and it is emailed to us through the chair or by you, that's between you guys to discuss, then that's concession to give you another half a week to work on it. And of course, I don't expect you to stop working on it just because it's been up there. You could always, of course, have more work that we've been reviewing the Friday meeting. Well, I like that idea. And, you know, if a motion is appropriate, I'd make that. That she, you know, like you say, Tuesday before the Friday meeting, mm -hmm. working with each individual, sending out to the board. I would take the so-called chair out of the out of the mix 
I mean, you know, because that's just an added bottleneck. It's a middleman, a middleman, middle woman, whatever, uh, to impede the progress. So, right. you know, let's not put a burden on whoever is serving as chair. It should be the city, uh, just like the city council or planning commission or whatever, sending them out to the members. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'd make that a, yeah. a motion if it's okay. appropriate, Mr. Chairman. And I would second that. Here's a motion and second. Uh, it's vote. Aye. 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 Okay, so we've given you a little more time. That's make that concession. You still get it so that people can, can know, but that gives you three or four more days. And I would like to add one thing. You know, I've been on this personnel board for years, and whenever we went through policies and procedures. Now, Gayla Schwartz was with us, along with our old HR rep, mm -hmm. and we went through the book and everything. And uh, but they also mailed us out. You know, it's snail mail. You know, some people like snail mail, some people don't. I'm one of those types that I like a snail mail. I'm on a computer enough at work that I don't want to have to come home and try to figure out, is my computer up and running today? Am I going to have to go out and buy another printer because I can't print none of the stuff off? But also, I have the bird, it's not a burden, but additional task that, no, I haven't had internet access for the last week because I've been, I've, I've been on the road for over 700, 700 miles. And I've been taking care of two 88-year-olds Besides a 12 week old puppy. So I've had my hands full and they don't have internet access. So that's why I didn't have internet access. But I would like to receive this stuff in the mail. So if, if they mail mind. it to you on Tuesday, which is when they're, right. they're asking them to have it done, there's a. Then probably got, a 100% chance you're not going to get it by Friday. No, I'm, I'm close enough that I can get it. Or I can even call her on Tuesdays and say, I come pick it up. On can I come pick yes. it up? I think that's a good idea because I don't think you would. I wouldn't rely on snail mail right now. <laughs> there was a snail mail that went from Zap Walker to my house, which is less than five miles across town, and I got it in a week. So I wouldn't rely on that. But yeah, understood. OK, so. So the motion on the table is that city staff will post by 5 o'clock PM on Novus and email the entire board the agenda and meeting packet the Tuesday before the Friday morning meeting. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Is that achievable for you? Or does it doesn't make what it, I'm it really asking? I mean, that's not even really the issue. Okay. I well, mean, I was getting, I thought that's that my was question. The issue, no, well, that's not the the issue is it, okay, that gives us two more days, but if 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 we don't get to something because there's another an emergency or something comes right. up, are you saying right. you don't want to have a meeting at all? Is that what you're saying? I would, yeah. I mean, if if you're like, well, we we have nothing new to discuss okay. with you because we are we have hit a roadblock. Yeah, then I mean, wouldn't you agree? I don't want to just come and. Well, we didn't go have a meeting. For, we didn't have a meeting for two years, and that you know, so that that was one end of it. Now that we're doing it monthly, mm -hmm. you know, but I think we just don't want to come and have a meeting with nothing to do but visit. Right. Right. I mean, we need to have some purpose. So right. well, and so I think a we, month just should be time, even if it's yeah. three days short of. I mean. It, you should be getting something done within a month with I take great issues. offense to that okay to, to for you to sit there and say that for some reason this isn't a priority or that I should get something done okay that that offends me and it, 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 well, what it, is that I'm not sure what you're saying that, 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 that I, because we might not get something done in a month that for some reason it's not a priority or or for you to 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 expect that something I mean I can tell you right now for the January meeting I don't know how much is going to get done. We have holidays. We have vacations planned. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's going to be anything done between now and January. Well, maybe whatever. we shouldn't have a January meeting then. I that's up to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's up to no, you that's guys. That's us. not up to me. But so I, that may be something. We but yeah, I can't control what what I can't control what happens every day. I mean, but you but you work on this, right? I mean, you're you work on this well, every week, right? No, I mean I. Again, I need I need to work with staff. Okay, right. I'm not just going to go rogue and start. No, I wouldn't things expect you to, but because I'm very right. conscious of, I'm not going to just do work to change something unless I'm given direction. So, mm -hmm. 
right now it's really once I get a clear direction from staff on how we think this needs to look. Yes, I can I can draft the language and I can probably wouldn't take me that long, but but again, it's just us working together and she has things going on. I have things going on. You guys have things going on and just the, the monthly and she's right. We do get pressed after this meeting. Well, so now you'll have 27 well or maybe we get we don't need to get right? prioritize what's important i guess is the only way right. i can answer well it. not i mean it's being it's hr professionals yourselves you have to understand that best laid plans right <laughs> best laid plans yeah. but, but, but I you always had to get the job done that's the thing exactly Wished i did and this is yes and 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 i'm i mean this has been eight years in the coming <clears throat> according to this this has not been done in eight years we know there's a whole lot of things in here that probably aren't up to date with current laws and we need to get them done we don't have an ethics policy in the city like to me that is somebody needs to be writing that policy now you know um i i expect as a citizen that that this is getting taken care of i mean this is the basis for the whole personnel policy and procedures part of human resources which is the foundation of what you do so I think this should be a part. I understand like when open enrollment's going and there are issues with open enrollment and you had all that to do. I understand that. Then I understand now you're back up because you're like, I had all those things. But I believe also too that the HR department has three new FTEs. Is that correct this year? I I really don't. I, I, I don't think this is a good avenue for us to talk about. Okay, we can have a discussion on that. Getting yeah, we can we can we can discuss expectations offline. That's fine. I understand. But yes, if we're not going to have a new thing to discuss, then we shouldn't have a meeting. If you feel in January, suggest it to us. We're not going to be ready in January. That's fine. But I think okay, we've got a motion and we passed that. We, we pass it. We got a few days extra there for you guys to do that. Okay. On the uh, uh, response to person or uh, personnel board inquiry at fifteen dollars an hour. Uh, and it, it was suggested, or one of the things that they wanted us to, or we just wanted to uh, do ourselves, was to uh, see if the board and yeah, we have I mean, if, if this council would consider $15 an hour minimum wage for all the employees uh, coming across the board, just across the board, $15 an hour. Do I have any discussion about that? Yes, I do. I have an item. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody else has had a chance to look at this. I have. Um, I appreciate this. This is great, like backbone information. Um, uh, it is not the cost benefit analysis. Um, so I appreciate this information. I would ask that we uh, I don't like the word remand, but I think it's the right word. Remand it back to the city council, city manager and representatives to turn this into a cost benefit analysis um, mm -hmm. so that we can we can see what it would take to do it. These are the these are the backbones of it. How many people and some money and some compression issues, but um, I'd like to see this turn into a actual cost benefit analysis as we requested from the last meeting. Uh, any other discussion or you would like to see this? Yeah, um, if everybody, if nobody has anything else to say, I'll make a motion to okay. uh, to uh, send this back to the city manager to ask to build on this great backbone that we have here um, to turn it into a cost benefit analysis for our review. And again, keeping in mind, we are looking at this for uh, budgeting for the next 2020, 2022, 20, 20, 23 uh, fiscal year. Fiscal year. I know they're starting budget talks now, so. Um, I'd agree with that, so I'd second it. Okay. Motion is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, it's passed. May I ask you a question? Is this you? What I mean by you? Is this part of your, resp your, your responsibility to uh, uh, convey to the council uh, 
to the council. Or to the manager? Yeah, to the manager. Okay. So, that's okay. Uh, the, uh, our inquiry about 15 miles an hour. Yeah, my, my plan, um, what I will do with this motion is um, forward this back to the city manager, let him know that the uh, personnel board has requested a cost benefit analysis okay. on this. There may be some follow up on the definition of exactly the scope of what you want to see on that. Um, I mean, you know, I, I see it as kind of, you know, just to clarify so we don't have the next meeting, we're not sure and there were questions or whatever, of course, Zach can always contact us to ask what he, what we're looking for. But, you know, we need to see, you know, and there's a lot of this is here, you know, this number of people times the incremental, you know, 15, 12, 13 to 15 dollars is an incremental at the cost of this, you know, and then I understand there's loggers and benefits and all things that can kind of build off of all that. I don't know that that depends on how far you want to go, but, you know, just even a basic, this is how many people would be raised this much. That's the basic salary increase. That would then cause compression in these categories, which would affect this many people. And if we were to, quote, uncompress that, that would cost us an additional X amount of dollars. So I would I would say, I, I mean, we do, we do have in here that raising those five full-time employees um, would cost $6,000 plus benefit and taxes. We would say that that obviously doesn't answer any of the compression issues. Correct. In order to do the compression issues, uh, we would ask that um, in this, is it the spring or I think in the summer Sorry. at least, we're starting a, a new pay study and we would include this question within that pay study. Because in order to do the compression analysis, you would have to also know what the new pay study amounts would be. So if, and you're right, this, this answered a very basic question is, it's the back one. you yeah. have X amount of employees under $15 an hour. If you increase those employees to $15 an hour, it would cost this much. It was math, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, so you're, you would be saying, you would be saying without the compression issue for FT, for full-time employees, I don't say FTE because that's equivalent, full-time employees, it would cost $6,000 plus benefits. If we, if that, is that including all full-time employees that would be excluded? It's only five on that calculator on this in front of me that I'm looking at because that's what yes. it says. We only have five in on the uh, right that's what i'm asking we have five current employees current, current. we right. have a whole pay scale right of and union contracts and union contracts right. oh yeah right. oh yeah because two of those people are on union contracts mm -hmm. are and that, covered and by mnc that that have to be negotiated that doesn't just yeah we don't just say oh that's great so, yeah yeah we we would mm -hmm. also say that this is a say how this um it's it wouldn't be market based because we haven't updated our market study um and we would say that the 12 to 15 is not a market and that'd be more of a i guess what i would call a social like because we socially as a city believe that employees should all be making at least 15 dollars an hour we would say that that doesn't that doesn't reflect the market that we're showing in the pay plan uh, just to make sure we don't have confusion about saying because what would happen you'd have people all of a sudden they're at 15 dollars an hour this person's been here forever right and we'd right. say yeah. we're not saying anything about your position we're not saying anything about this position market ways we're saying this is a social <coughs> construct if you will of mm -hmm. us wanting to have that 15 dollars now right so because we do know and I, again you all know better than i about the compression issue that you would have, especially when when you have the union involved and you have, you want to make sure the unions are at the table talking about this whole issue. Um, Which would be separate from us because we don't negotiate, you guys negotiate, yeah. So, but, so but, but again, getting back to your, when, when I asked the definition of a cost benefit, uh -huh. we know the cost of just a flat out increasing 
the current employees okay. to fifteen dollars is that amount that we talked about? Is six thousand dollars? Six thousand plus plus benefits. Right. Okay. So, so I just just so I clarify, and I think I understand. So the I this IBEW and the two job classes that have less than again that it, that will not be within our purview. That will be negotiated. We we could want that to happen and talk about that, and that makes no difference because that's with Chad and you guys negotiating and all that. So. So right now, currently employed is what you're saying, are five full-time employees that if we brought them up to $15 an hour would cost the city $6,000 a year plus, plus yeah. taxes and benefits. Okay. Now, if you had two more people who were hired into one of those classes, then you would have, well, now we're at seven people who would be at 15. And we know it's going to cause compression, right? So that's, I'm understanding there. And then down here is the part-time and temporary FTEs, um, which I assume are people that are like at, at the um, center attendance and stuff. Yes, yeah, right. yeah. like that type of thing. So, so without, I mean, obviously, again, we can't look at what the, what the unions are going to negotiate. That's that would be with IBW, but and I do understand that saying. That saying you cannot just flip out this, you know, idea of fixing compression. It's not like it's like, oh, well, yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll do this, this, and this. But we need to know kind of like what, how, what's the incremental going to be on that? Because you, you know, and make, and again, this may be something that isn't, and maybe we need to also know from, you know, through you or from Zach or whatever, what is the feeling on it? Do, is independents really feeling like they want to move to $15 an hour? You know, because like you said, this is a social construct, you know, type type issue. You know, we've we've done with the police officers. We've raised their we're raising their rate their pay rates because we need yeah. to be competitive in the market. You know, with that, um, they need to make a wage for what they're doing and all those other factors. So, is the city wanting to move to that? And if the, and I mean, it's not, we can't vote to say that the city should do that. Maybe it would be interesting to have a discussion on, this is where we feel we are on this. We are concerned. We want to wait for a comp study. We would need to have the compression looked at. This We are not planning for this for the 22-23 year, budget year, you know, like kind of a discussion of it. Because if the answer is we really don't think that we're going to be able to afford or want to or in time-wise because Comp studies are not, they don't happen in a week either, you know what I mean? And we're not going to make it for next year? Then let, let's hear that too, I mean, you know what I mean? And if that's the answer, then we table this, you know, until, you know, after the new budget years open and, or, you know, after 20 July 1, 2022, and, and then talk about it then. And I guess what I'm, what I'm suggesting is that we would take your, this, board's interest uh -huh. in this question and add that as an addendum or as part mm -hmm. of the this the study that we'll be doing yeah in the next fiscal year which will be for the 22 23 fiscal year you're, you're correct probably implementation of that wouldn't fully be seen until the budget year after there might right. as as you all know there's sometimes as you go through a market study and you're like oh my gosh we've got to fix right. this issue right away yeah. and we'll right. figure that out when we get there but right. But that would be my. So when I heard the the motion, that was my thought behind this was how I was going to address it yeah. with the city manager. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, we would I think all like to see everybody at fifteen dollars an hour, but we all also understand that that is not just I'll go in and change everybody to fifteen dollars and everybody goes okay that's great you know I mean we have budget issues we have compression issues we have issues between you know you've got temporary full-time equivalents you know how does that different you know can that be different than part-time you know and all that other stuff so yeah just some more direction on it um but don't like it, i guess too when i say cost benefit analysis it doesn't necessarily have to be just the math it's like okay here's the cost benefit analysis is it's going to cost us money and but we have budget issues and we have time mm -hmm. frames and we have studies and all that so good excellent I look forward to hearing what they say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number five, new business. 
Personnel of Parliament who sees Article 1 and 2 review. Uh, does anyone have anything uh, pertaining to the Article 1 and 2 review? Or am I speaking, or have we led into that already? Yeah, and had a war, I mean, not a war, but a great discussion <laughs> of, the, yes. of great minds <laughs> on this. Okay. And uh, just to be clear, just to, for layman's terms, where are we standing on these? Okay, where are we as a board? Where are we uh, standing on these issues or this issue? Article one and article two, that we still on the, we're not even here at, on these two articles. We are at the timeline and information line. Is that? My thought, my thought would be, um, but I won't make a motion until we, because I would like to hear from you guys. Too. Okay. Because I don't think anybody else in on the board, other than myself, has had this until today. That's right. Great. That's right? correct. So, um, and there's nothing redlined, you know, as I say, I, whatever the phrase is, adjust, you know, any adjustments there. My inclination is to make a motion to postpone this to, you know, table this to the next meeting for discussion when it's redlined. However, if there is worthy discussion in general from you guys about this is what you're going to see, this is what we're looking at in general. I mean, I, I'm willing to hear that discussion, but so I don't know. Do you feel like, do you feel like it would be helpful to Give us some information and then we table it. Okay. I think I think Ron, we've we've discussed quite a bit of it. Like I said, this is was more informational, but right. we'll um but yeah, this is something just so you know, this is what's going to be coming back to you in a red line form with changes. So you'll see this document, these two documents coming back. I don't know that it will be at the January meeting, I'll be honest with you, with the holidays and those types of things, but we'll definitely Next time it comes back, it will be red line. So you will see what is the changes, what has changed, what hasn't changed. Excellent. Okay. So I will make a motion to table this topic until the just a moment. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I, the question that I posed was to us. What are your feelings on uh, our past discussions on on this on the discussions that we led into this. What are your feelings or or uh, about the next or uh, the process to uh, comply with what the board is asking? Okay. I, I, oh, do you understand what I'm okay. asking? What I'm asking is, is it attainable? Okay. And 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 and. and could we expect it to be accomplished? Or I understand you're probably going to do your best to accomplish it. Okay. All right. So that's I guess. I mean, what if what if there's part of a policy that we've gone through because it's so sticky? Do you want to see that, or do you not want to see anything until the whole policy? I mean. There could be research that has to be done. There could be, and I'm not saying these two policies, but I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. Um, are you talking about this specifically about the next meeting yes. or just about the next meeting? Okay. Um, Is it obtainable or do you think we'll be able to be presented with uh, Lord uh, timeline in, in the uh, present? of what's and red light policies yeah, but no I don't think that's realistic okay. okay so then my motion would be to table this matter until the next scheduled meeting okay because then and let me kind of qualify that because the next step is going to be next meeting so we can discuss well we're not going to meet in January because it that you're right you've got shortened time christmas all that other stuff everybody needs a break all that kind of stuff so we're going to address that when i say 
next meeting, but it's not going to be January because we're going to then say we're not going to meet until February. Okay, so it, it, does that make sense? Yeah, it okay. makes sense to me. Okay, so All motion right. to table this, the review of these articles, personal policies, articles one and two, until the next scheduled meeting. And find it ourselves. There. In February. Jennifer? Uh, yeah. May yes. I ask you another question? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking on you. I'm just. No, you're fine. Okay. okay. Here's what I would like to know. Uh, would you, do you see it, or see, see it to be able to be accomplished? Uh, and <coughs> delivered or publicly or in, in the. Uh, published. Published. That's the word in that time frame or okay. by the February meeting? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. You think you two can get together oh, and y'all can Absolutely. take the steps and say, hey, listen, the board is requesting or asking for a for dates and uh red. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the first step is to get your policy red lined and, and say, hey, on this date, we are ready to see you, okay, in your next meeting. This is going to be, this is posted, you can see it, it's available, and if I have to, I'll uh, email everybody and snail mail everybody too, okay? Well, I will be emailing it. Okay, so email. By the Tuesday mm -hmm. before to you all have, of you. Okay. You have everyone yep. on the boards. Yeah. email address okay yeah. so you're I, able to i don't think i'm going to snail mail it i think okay. if you want like a copy you okay. can call you can me, bring it me and i was just going to say yeah because yeah. the yeah. mail is not be happy yeah. to get okay i would there like you at city hall or meet you okay that's that's fine clarify the dates that we're talking about well here's the thing can we do can we go to the motion to say can we finish the motion vote and then go to what's the next meeting well he he asked the question okay he, 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 let me, let, okay, let, yeah, let's address yeah. this question first. Okay. He asked a question. He said, can we specify the dates that it needs to be completed or turned in? I, I was just going to ask to make, to clarify that we're talking about the same dates. So okay. I think we're talking about the Tuesday before the meeting, which is if the next meeting was February 11th, that would be February 8th. That would be okay. Yeah. yeah. Whatever our second, same same schedule. Oh, Skip in this January. I want vacation that day. I'm so sorry. Probably the next two months. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, February 2nd would be the date. No, no. February 8th would be the Tuesday. The Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The 11th would be the Friday. Yep, the Friday. The Friday of the meeting. Okay. All right. Is everybody in agreement with that? Okay. Feel comfortable with the dates? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what I planned on. Yep. Okay. All right. Now for your uh Laura. Yes. Now for your motion, please. I've made the motion. Do you want me to repeat it? Yes, uh, I was concentrating on something. Okay, so I'm making a motion to postpone the discussion. My agenda, so I word it right. I'd like I make a motion to postpone the review of personnel policies articles one and two until the next scheduled personnel policy personnel board meeting. I second the motion. This is motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Those abstain? <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Don't make nobody we just can't, always we just can't lose any more people. We're going to end up without a <laughs> All right. Uh, is there any other business? Go ahead. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not. I'm terrible with names. What's your name? Henry. How you doing, Henry? Glad you're here. And who's that Thank supermodel you. next to you? Oh, Marla. Marla. Kimsey. <laughs> Kimsey. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk. And uh, <clears throat> I had some of this stuff, but I was 
having a hard time getting up to speed on what was going to actually happen, whether we're going to look for a recommended change or discuss a potential concern. I didn't have that clear. <clears throat> At this point, I think that I'm understanding that you want to review the changes that you're contemplating with the board before you post them for uh, amendment according to the policies. Am, am I tracking right on that? That was a procedure uh, yeah, we just, to, to that we did that, yeah. prior, I mean, in the last meeting, okay, because we went through the uh, policy, we had to change a few words or indicate that a few words need to be changed thanks to the shop I and Laura. Really, but that's what happened, and it works. It works, and so but he's. But but that was a that was a public hearing, right? Yeah. But we're not when they first bring policies one and two to us for review in at the February meeting. That will be the first time we will discuss it. So that will not be the public hearing. At that, right. Got, I'm tracking now. Yeah. At that point, you would have marked out what recommended change and what's recommended added. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm not trying to throw a monkey wrench, believe me, guys. Because I there's three things can be a, a, a review you could gain, everybody could gain knowledge on, or personnel could seek consensus for change they want, or it could be a pre-presentation, kind of like an ex parte from the other other people, the you know, retirees and uh, employees. Mm -hmm. I don't know which, but I think mm -hmm. by and large a review before is probably more, more valuable or has more work. But so what I'm understanding is that you'll see a, a, a hopefully see a line and bracketed somewhat new, you know, typical market. And you would mm -hmm. you would review that for mm -hmm. determination of whether to post that for a hearing. Correct. Okay. And my my plea would be that I, I think I'm in the mail list, but to the degree I can ask for that copy of that stuff email on Tuesday would that be doable and what you could do um, is you can go out onto the way well, send a request to the city clerk but there's also a button that you can push where all agenda items from different meetings can be emailed to you so like like you know like council we got council yesterday or whatever you know so yeah so you it is Jennifer and Becky handle that through the system, I'm sure they'll put your email in there. And as soon as anything goes to Nova's agenda, then they turn around and okay. send that out to you. So you'll know within however many minutes it takes to do that. Or well, I may be there already. I just couldn't track it. Right. I was trying to follow this and I couldn't understand no dates. And yeah, uh, so which is what we talked about. I, yeah, let me just say this. Mm -hmm. When I clicked on that the last time, mm -hmm. uh, I get I think you're going to address. I got the online yes. agenda, and when I did, all that was on there is just a basic blah blah nothing. There was no detail. There was no nothing. Not until I went in to where the meeting thing, clicked on agendas, mm -hmm. and where you go upload agenda, uh -huh. did I get all the detail for the meeting? And I did bring that up. And, and, and that was I did not way. get it just simply from the email from Jennifer Frank. Okay, when I clicked on agenda. Like I told you, and I heard you say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's all I got was a four. You have to literally go to agendas, and you have to go to the upload right. to get all this detail. Right. They should. The agenda should be the same versus PDF versus download. But yeah, PDF and it was course, not right. And of course, PDF. There's nothing to click on because that's the whole point of PDF. But you're right. This was a bare bones. So we just need to make sure that either there's yeah. only one place to look at it, or that they're the same. Yeah, because yesterday when I did go back mm -hmm. to agenda and I clicked on the download, the portion. download, I got all the okay. detail. Right. right. My only other issue is this: is I mean, the original policies and procedures that I printed is like sixty-seven pages long, so I'm obviously missing something because when you go to these copies, <laughs> yeah. you see seventy-three. So where do we go get a copy of that? Well, and. Because the original policies and procedures manual, I printed off uh -huh. on the city's website, 
is well, like 67 pages long, which I printed. But when I go look at this, the attachments you gave us today, it says like page, it goes through page uh, 13 of 73. So I'm obviously missing pages and of policy and procedures. So where do I go find the one that's got 73 pages? And that's that, all I'm asking. And, and, that and it's may, dated and it's telling you the last time it got updated. And that may be, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to, I mean, they just voted on it on Monday. So right. I don't know that the pages for the new uh, domestic violence thing mm -hmm. is that maybe what increased the number of pages. But like you said, too, the revised date hasn't changed. And, I, and maybe the revised date is by article. That's but probably that's going to be my guess. Yeah, because know we sure. know we've had FML. I mean, yeah, we've gone right. eight years without making an FMLA change. So, we so, know yeah. when this is. So yeah. just to make sure I'm current, I guess my only question yeah. is, where right. do I go find this one that's dated and it's got page numbers on the bottom? Yes. If you just tell me that, I can go find it. Yeah. I don't know where to go get that. I'm. Where did you get that? Where did I get what? She the, navigated through the. Uh, I navigated uh, through the online website to get the. You had, she had to, what it sounds like. Did you have to hit two, go through two agendas to get? No, she's talking about the policy. I'm talking about, oh, you're talking about the policy. Policy. procedures okay. now. Yeah. I'm talking about when I went. Are you wanting to know, Jennifer, about agenda items or are you wanting to know about the policy? The policy and procedure. procedure. Yeah. I mean, I know where it is on the intranet, but I don't, I don't know where it is on the internet, to be honest with you. So I'll, when I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm yeah. going to have to find out. This, I just went out to the city's website. I, Today, I, no. yesterday, a year ago, right? Yeah, the city, the city of independence. Months, so. Okay, yeah. So I'll have, have to this, find this list of. Uh, I don't. I don't. When did you download yeah. it, Marla? Yeah, you got that thing. When did you download it, Marla? All right. It's been months ago. Months two, ago. two or three months ago. Okay. When we first started having these meetings. Right. Okay. Is when I downloaded it. I'm just saying, tell me where I go so that I've got the most current because I see here right. it says yeah. page numbers and says when it's revised. Mm -hmm. So where do I go get that copy? I I, I don't know. Okay, so publicly maybe, where it's at. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I don't know. Well, I went to the city's website and got the first one. Is this copy that's got revised listing and the pages on it? Is it anywhere on the city website? That's, what she's that's saying. my she, question. She I don't know. know. That's oh, what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. I don't okay. yeah. know. So, I know where it is on the intranet for employees, but right. I. I, I don't know where it okay, is publicly. Okay, well, just, just so, tell me where it is on the internet. No, well, so, okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. You can't get into the intranet. Intra okay. Intra means them only. Okay. Right. So maybe what we could do is when when you guys get the, the stuff that was approved Monday, because that's a new article and whatever, when that gets put into your working document on the intranet, then, you know, ask somebody or find out where it is on the Internet. internet. We've, yeah. already, we've yeah. already taken care of that sure. on the internet. Okay. So I will go back and ask where it is on, on the, the internet. internet. All right. Yeah. And then once you find all that, maybe you could just email yep. a link saying this is where it's at. So, That's all yeah. I care about is yeah. that I'm, I'm looking at the most had, current thing. Yeah. I'm, I got the 73 of 73. Uh -huh. Yeah, then you're and right. I asked uh, Adam Norris and uh -huh. he had the clerk's office give me a yeah. copy. I don't know if it is out on the public website. I don't. I don't well, know. Well, she so got access to it. Then it must be because she would okay. only have public access. Yeah. And but she don't remember where you went to get it. Like I went into the city's website and I used the search tool. Yeah. And when I used the search I tool, too. it brought it up. There, okay. There's there. Yeah, I just did a search too. They're not. Okay. They 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 look like they're old web pages that were just never. Okay. Oh, did, they no. were killed down. They yeah, killed I just down. used the search tool yeah. on the I just, city's I just website. Did the, I just did the same yeah. thing. Yeah. It went to an HR docs site, which I've never heard of. So oh, that's, that's before, before our time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I just yeah. want to make okay. sure that I'm I got it. reading yeah. from the yeah. most yeah. current. Got it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and that makes sense. We're, <clears throat> and forgive me, because my my perception could be not be valid. But from my field of experience, it seems like personnel, human resources, as I've known in the past, they have a 3,000 foot view of what they want to change in this policy procedures. They know here's what we want to change in military leave, here's what we want to change in compensation. 
and or I'm wrong, you guys don't have a 3,000 foot view of what you want to change. I'm hoping I could get a confirmation yes or no on that. It may be more of a 20,000 foot at this point. Okay. I mean. So you, but you know what areas in each article you want to make changes in now or have concerns for you right now? I, I can't say that about every article, no. Okay. Some articles, yes. So you're here doing the whole document re, uh, pop, uh, review, mm -hmm. and yet you're not clear on some of the areas you want to review? I'm not sure how they can be if they don't know legally for sure what's changed. Well, here, right. there's legal, yeah. state and federal, Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's administrative policies, and then there's policy changes that affects the working conditions and benefits of the employees. I agree. Okay, so now those, you know, the, yeah, you can tell what federal and state changes you think need to be tweaked into the policies, and the city manager before did administrative, po uh, administrative policies as a way to circumvent the 10 day notice for creating what turned out to be personnel po policies. Right. But I think you guys have got to try to fold in. But and I think that that was mentioned that there might be some things that have been on the outside yeah. that need to be on the inside. And I think they're addressing that. And, and there was con consternation at the time because they were put in without a hearing and they affect the personnel situation okay so we've talked about that in meetings before and we we all agree that that was not done correctly which is why we are now trying to get the process done forgive me i didn't hear that okay. part, but I, but now there's other areas that are not in those three areas that you would at this point is from my field experience know that you want to make a change there's something you want to tweak about how we do pay or there's a definition that if you change it here, it'll have impact later in here. And if you, unless you're looking at the document as a whole, then you can piecemeal it and you can accomplish what you want to get done. And other people might see what's actually being affected. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the 3000 foot view. I don't know if the, it's up the board where they want that or not, but you'd think that if we're doing a, 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 a document review, a whole document review, we'd have a comprehensive view of what areas you want changed and at least some idea of what you want. Not maybe specific, but we know in military leave, we want to change it from uh, four and two thirds days or five days to some other kind of authority. I mean, there's, there's all, and that's what I'm asking for. And I probably will continue asking for is that comprehensive view so we can know how that document fits as a whole because as we're making the changes. That at least we, we who, those of us who may want to challenge in the fair in the fair game, we've had it with Zach in the past. He'll let us know. Here's the change coming. Uh, you guys do what you want to do, and I'm going to do what I want to do. But he was honorable enough to give us a head start or to give us a notice. Do notice, like the rules of the the game. He would give us a notice where we could exercise whatever our influence is versus what his was mm -hmm. and that's what a 10 day notice is not enough time for us to tool up if it's going to affect us or work negatively against some benefit or past practice we have i'm yeah. being as truthful as i can be here we there we the fair play here is you give us not a 10 day notice you say here's an area we're concerned with and we we'll want to change something like this in the past, the managers in the past knew exactly what they wanted in the comprehensive review. They already had it charted out, then they had you know, option one and option two. But you're representing to me that you don't have that right now. I, 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 yeah. uh, if, I if I might, um, I, I think right now we're, uh, just honestly, we're in the position right now. We think it is, it's, we're done with, piecemealing a document together that's been piecemealed together over and over for years. Right. But what we were hoping is to come to the, the board and say, hey, we, we want this to be brought up into best practices. I would ask that the board be very cognizant on the 10 day issue. If there's something that's oh, yeah. coming up as we're doing these projecting out, 
that's going to impact things more more than I mean, you're right. These things can have impacts for for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I would ask to be that we'd want to be cognizant of that 10 day and, and have a thing out there for a month or whatever. And I, and I, I think we're good. I really I really uh, do because of what we kind of decided to do. Like yeah. like, for instance, in February, because we're going to take a break in January, we're going to go through this, these policies one and two. That doesn't mean that that's the public hearing. That doesn't mean in 10 days. So you're going to know yeah. now something's coming and but, we're going to ask you to add to the agenda. When one pops off, you're going to be giving us two at a time. So we're looking at. But if, but if I can finish with, mm -hmm. with just I just want to. I, I don't know about previous city manager. That's a level of preparedness. I would love to be at mm -hmm. of going through the whole thing and going. This is what we're going to change. This is what we're going to change. I think we're going to start that process. And we would want to share that process. If, if we get to that point where we're like, here's our our 3000 foot view, then. We have got to disclose it. There's no nothing is going to. We understand independence process right now. Mm -hmm. It took me a little time of understanding that independence process. I put Jennifer in the middle of that independence process. One year ago, yeah. A year ago. Yeah. No, two years ago. Two, two, whenever it was. Yeah. It's been I, two, I can't the, it. You know, I, I know. Right. I just wish I was as smart and devious as sometimes it's made out that we're trying to do. <laughs> but it's like, okay, this is something we need to do. We really, mm -hmm. again, we've been in the industry 30, 20 some years mm -hmm. of specific over this. We really, we really want to take care of the employees. We really want to get that out there. We really want to make sure we're transparent and disclose what is going on. So, I mean, I, I can't. And we sit. appreciate I, that. I, I'm not, that's I don't all have we're asking. The finger crossed or whatever. Yep. But I'm asking, and I think you are definitely are making sure that we're being as transparent as all. Yep. It, the first hour and a half of this meeting was a very painful process. Mm -hmm. I understand where it's coming from. Right. I really do. I hope you understand that we're 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 oh, trying. Get we're we're I, getting I, I it do. together. We're getting it together. Right. And I, I want to say the same thing with transparency. That the fact that you you both are here and coming to these meetings. It, yes, we for us then to try to slip something through would be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it would just be ridiculous. And so my why even try? Right. Uh, and, and, and I understand because of past precedent, that's where you feel that. But I think we're working with you guys who are like doing this anew and we're watching and you know, you're checking us and we're checking you. I think we're going to get there. And I appreciate that the comment about the transparency because then we will settle people's if we get people into the comfort zone, that that kind of in run stuff is not going on. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, that. That's an indication that you're going to give us a, a a notice like, hey, here's a controversy. We're letting you guys know it's going to have impact on you. You know, but honestly, yeah. Again, maybe I'm that night. Many times I have no idea it's a controversy what? until yeah, I get it down. Yeah. True. I don't know true. Yeah. Like, uh, true. Yeah. I mean, you, I'm going to just give an example like and this is a to me. It's a simple example, but I think it's going to maybe cause some controversy adding Juneteenth holiday. I think there's going to be a lot of discussion about that. I feel and I feel and it's funny because I feel just the opposite. I, I mean, like, every other every other city is just like, we yeah, do. we're doing it. Yeah. But we, like, but we don't know what's going to happen. Here we don't know what's going to happen. I so, have no okay, idea so. what's going to happen. Sure. Like I. Yeah. But when you're talking about due process, compensation, benefits, you know, uh, disciplinary, there can be changes in that. You know, maybe you could create something as a major disciplinary fireable offense that that's maybe not proper. You it might be an overreach. But I think you got you grasped it, or at least you're communicating. You're going to give us a head a, a lead time more than ten days. You know, you're going to if you see it coming, you're going to we're going to we're going to mention to the board and and let them make that call in that 10 days or more than 10 days. So we're going to I mean, that's we'll make that call and we'll make we'll say that out loud. Here are the things that we see coming up. 
10 days is kind of our minimum. What does this? You'll stay in here in the meetings, what you're saying. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then that, if I'm here, it's it's on me to be here to hear it. Well, and then the, the minutes are here, the post, they're posted on here. We have, listen. We need more than 10 days, is what I'm saying. I learned so much when I thought it was just a simple item of getting something on the personnel board just so we could talk about it. I had no idea what the impact of that was. I do not want to go through that again. There's no, so not talking about it that does not help me at all. Right. Uh, I don't want to sit through these meetings. I don't do not want to repeat what happened just an hour and a half ago. I just we just want to move forward. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm I'm trusting that we're going to get uh, some lead time, especially and you, if you're thinking. And you can trust us yeah. that you know that we're. Yes. I, we all want the same thing, it, and I do too. I want to move on and get into discussion. I just need to be able to. It doesn't benefit anybody yeah. to, yeah. Right. to do Thank that. Thank you very Absolutely. much. I'm yeah. close. And, yep. I, and I'm really glad you brought up the, the administrative. Act. I know when I first got here, I was really confused because I was personnel policy, and then I saw administrative policy. So I think I was the first one to say, I said, yeah. I'm like, I don't know exactly what the history is here, but get these things out front and see if we need to add them to the personnel yeah. policy. They, they, they were put in place to avoid the 10 day notice there. They were called administrative policies, which was really personnel policies that they circumvented well, the, the Those process. things that we feel are personnel policies, we will be asking to include into the personnel policies. Excellent. So you see the cynic, some of our cynical thinking. <laughs> we, we, we battled past the past quite a bit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's tackle the future. Laura, you had something? No, no. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that we got to this. I, I want to be, I want to give you more time, but it gives us enough time for us to prepare. So we can just come in here and just say, let's get to it. Yeah. Excellent. Thank okay. you. All right. Last topic of the day is, can we adjourn? Uh, we adjourn. adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Meetings adjourned, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>